Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is actually Edit and Sarah coming at you. I just really quickly wanted to pop on and explain the video a little bit because I introduced the video again in a second but I didn't actually realise how long this video was going to be and also I didn't realise some of the content that was going to be in there because on this day that I filmed this training video Oakley was being a little bit of a... Um, a pain he was playing up a little bit so I just wanted to say two things that one this is a really long video but it is a full day of training and I explain all the training that I do so it's it's a full day so that's why it's so long and I include everything that I did in the day with Oakley so that's why it's so long and two I have tried to keep this as honest and as real as physically possible so I have purposefully left in the bits where Oakley is being naughty essentially and he is biting and scratching because I just I didn't want you guys to watch this and just be like oh my god her puppy is so well behaved compared to mine that puppy never misbehaves because he does and it's been a really really rough few weeks with Oakley I mentioned in the video he's going through a little bit of regression at the minute where he's just not listening and not paying attention to us and it's been really hard like really hard I've not had a good few weeks with him but I don't know if you can hear that but that's that was Jack saying at ah, 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 him so I don't know what he's doing but he's gone through a little bit of regression so I have purposefully left in the bad bits in and how we deal with the bad bits there's a few bits where I've had a clip out because I didn't realize how short my shorts are that I'm wearing in the first little clip like you can see everything so if it's clipped weird it's because I'm trying to like t conserve some some bits of me but yeah I just wanted to tell you guys that <laughs> He's doing zoomies, I can hear him. Should I go help him? Nah, Jack can deal with it. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the real him and let you guys know that if you're struggling, you're not the only one. It's freaking hard owning a puppy, like, and training them properly, like training them fully and getting through them all these awful stages of biting and scratching and zoomies and everything so I just wanted to be real show you guys how we deal with it and yeah so that's not Jack saying ah, ah, ah that's Oakley Bark and he must be playing with something uh yeah so without further ado I will get on but there's another like intro coming because I didn't realize I'd do this clip so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I should speak to you soon bye hello everyone and welcome back to another video first up I just want to apologize for the state of me I am starting this at a time that I wasn't prepared to start it but today is a day of training with Mr Oakley who is my sixth can you just lock him out yeah because I need to leave all right um six month old cocker spaniel puppy uh if you want to see more videos on him I'll leave like a link above but yeah so we're doing a training thing and this is part like we're doing some training now, so I had to start filming now. So I apologise for the mess of this. I'm going to explain a little bit about how things are going in, like, later in the day when I'm a little bit more presentable. So, at the minute, he's had his breakfast. I'm going to put a clip of that in, in a little bit. Oh, should I do that now? We'll do that now. Jack does the training in the morning because I sleep in, just because we've locked down. I don't like waking up early. There's no really, there's no point really. That was Opie scratching on the door. I just, I, I prefer sleeping in a lockdown. It keeps me a little bit more sane. So Jack does his breakfast at about ten in the morning. Jack filmed himself doing it, so I'll put a little like clip here. So all he is doing is some walking training. So we do figure of eight, so he gets used to walking on the lead and looking up at us. So he just does that in the morning. In. I'm probably we're probably gonna do that at some point. Are we gonna do that at some point today? I might do that at tea, so I'll talk a little bit about that later. So now it is quarter to twelve. We are about to train, so we're gonna do some Jack's taking him out now to go to the toilet, and I'm gonna do some training slash playtime because at the minute we aren't walking okay because we were doing long line walks where he could just do whatever he wants, so basically like he would be off lead, but he is 
leash training was kind of suffering for us i think because he was just used to just being able to walk wherever he wanted and then when he went on a lead it just it didn't go very well so we're not walking him at the minute so we have to make sure that we're giving him enough exercise enough mental simulation so he's not just bored all the time so we're gonna do some playtime now we have had him he was in the kitchen for a little while probably until like half 10 quarter to 11 in his crate and then we brought him in here with us while we were just watching sim tv so this is his crate he has some chew toys in there where are they he keeps pushing them out because there's gaps in this one but he had he had that one and we have a blanket over the top so i'm going to pick these up before he can get them for playtime we're probably going to do just a, excuse what i'm wearing as well like i say i'm not ready i'm probably just going to do some tug and then some trick training because we're trying to teach him spin at the minute he knows all the basics like he knows sit down pour he can high five he can he's about to come in hang on come here baby oh god right okay calm down um so right okay you need to calm it bed no bed Ow, fuck. down good boy um so we're teaching him spin left and right at the minute so that's probably what trick training will do after we've played no i didn't really see you get back can you get his house oh is it there his house nice he is learning no i didn't really see you get back down he's learning spin at the minute for tug i will be doing literally just tug but uh, uh, no no come on no okay stop it jackie's biting me no <laughs> okay nope stop it sit hey Let's stand up sir. No. No. Okay. No. No. Bed. No. Down. So, one of the things you just saw is what we're struggling with at the minute. Go down. Hey. Down. No. Um, he's going through a little bit of a rough patch at the minute. We haven't got a clue what happened. He was doing really well, as you guys have seen in other videos. He was really well behaved. And he's going through a little bit of a regression at the minute. He um, can't walk on his lead anymore and he always has been able to do that. I've been lead training him since he was allowed to go out and he was always great and now he's not very great. And he keeps going a little bit mental um, when I'm trying to put his lead on and off. He likes to like do a domination thing. So when I put my hand on his collar, he'll put his paw over mine, which is how this keeps happening. So I don't know if it's focusing very well, but I keep getting loads and loads of scratches on my arm because this keeps happening. I'm not sure what's happening. I'm sure you guys will probably have some theories, but he just keeps trying to put his paw on top of me. And obviously I don't want that to happen because it's saying that basically he's above me in the like hierarchy so we don't let that happen and then he goes into zoomies and we can barely get him because we haven't put the lead on yet so that's what just happened there but yeah took i have uh, we normally play wait and um, we normally play with two toys well probably not be playing with broccoli we play with this and another one which i'll get in a second and i play tug and then just drop and that gets a load of energy out he's currently waiting in his bed if you're wondering what he's doing hang on this is him just waiting um so he is, he is good at a lot of things it's just a few things that he's regressed on which is super annoying but he um yeah we drop and then i also do it and when i bring it to my body that's when he has to drop it and he is quite good at it he's not great at drop that's another thing he's regressed at he used to be brilliant at it and now he's not doing it he's brilliant at leave it and he's really good at like self-control like he'll not do something until we told him to but drop is kind of regressed a little bit but we're working on it so should we play talk for a little bit i am not playing fetch at the minute because I saw no get back in your bed please no bed good boy um I saw a video that said that like if you haven't taught fetch properly they think that like this is the reward and you're not the reward and you're throwing the reward away so basically saying the reward isn't me it's the toy where it should be with me so we're not playing fetch at the minute so what other toys should we use today 
So hopefully you're going to be able to see him there. I'll bring it around a little bit because we're probably going to move about. No, you can wait there, please. Here, sit. So if you watch, you can do leave it brilliantly. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, which one? Oh, wow. Oh, no. If he goes to his bed, I bring him right back because I don't want him just sitting. <laughs> just so you know, Oakley's a very vocal dog. He <laughs> likes to make these noises when he's playing tug. Come on. Um, drop. No. No. Hey. No. Down. Sit. Hey. Sit. Oakley. Hey, you don't normally do this. Can you sit, please? No. Oakley. Hey, this is what the house line's for. Sit. Good boy, well done. So, I'll talk a little bit about what happened there first. So, okay. Um, so he started biting. He doesn't normally do that when fetch. I don't know what's the matter. It's probably just because he's in a weird mood, but he started biting. So I used the house line to get him down off me because you could see like he was trying to jump up at me. So I used the house line to get him off me and then I like, raised myself above him because really I shouldn't be on the floor playing with him, but it's so you guys can see. I Good boy. Okay. Um, yeah, um, so then I raised myself above him. He actually did quite well there. Normally I have to stand up, but he calmed himself down as I was on my knees. So if you have problems with biting, make sure you're not on the same level as them on the floor. So like what I am now and have a house line on all the time. I know you've probably seen it in other videos, but please just have a house line on. We couldn't control him properly if he didn't have a house line on. Drop. No, that's not what drop means. Drop. Yes, good boy. Okay, then. Um, so yeah, we'll do this. We'll play tug. So I'll use the other toy as well. Drop. Yes, good boy. Um, he loves this one. And after we've played for a while, I'll do some trick training with some treats. We are using a lot of treats at the minute anyway, but we need to double check his weight today because we're not sure what's happening with Oakley's weight. Drop. What's this? Good boy. Um, because he doesn't seem to be putting any weight on, and his food is actually on more than recommended for his his expected adult weight. So we are using quite a lot of treats at the minute, but we're keeping an eye on his weight kind of thing. And if he, you okay? You alright? Okay. He's having some trouble with his teeth at the minute because he's teething. We have so many teeth that we've found. And sometimes when he plays tug, he hasn't in a while. It's getting better. Drop. Yes, clever boy. Good boy. No. Leave it. Okay. Good boy. Um, we couldn't play tug because his teeth... Good boy. His teeth couldn't deal with it. So when we played tug, his teeth would like wobble and go into his mouth. So we can play it now, but sometimes it's just like when he stops and he looks and he's like licking his mouth. It's normally because his teeth. But I think all of them are out now. So I don't know what happened there. Right. So this is when I want him to drop it. Drop. Yes, good boy, okay. Um, so yeah, this is what we do. So this will get them tight, more tied out than a walk would, as you can see, and he loves it because you can hear the noises he makes. Drop. No, we can get off, man's arm. Hey, what did I say? Good boy, yes, good boy. Okay, good. So with that, I am, um, First, I'll say what I did with the drop. If he doesn't drop, well, as soon as I say drop, I stop playing with the toys. So if you watch, I'll be like, drop. So I make him boring. Good boy, good boy. But if that doesn't work, I put his, my hands either side of the toy. So, so for example, I'll do it just straight away. Oh, if I can. There you go. Drop. No, we get down. Good boy. Uh -uh. Okay. Good boy. And um, either side of his mouth with the toy, and then that, and just keep it still and just wait for him. Don't say it again. Only say it once. Wait for him. When he does it, say yes. Oh, oh you won. You won, did you? Um, 
and yeah that's it and then with the what else did we do there no drop no see this is what i mean like he goes up on my arm no oakley stop it drop oh i said it twice there oops i'm sorry no no we don't do that no no can we sit no good boy good boy okay uh, there so when i have the toy so when he either lets go or i've asked him to drop he doesn't get the toy until i say okay again and then i will change cha oh like right there okay so i'll change the varying levels of like difficultness until he gets the toy so we've progressed at the minute they're quite easy so at first i'll have it high where he has to jump at it no where he has to jump jump at it to get it and he doesn't normally do that ah, 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 drop yes good boy and um, and then i have it low where are you going hey no um have it low which is harder but we've progressed see how well he does it to this at the minute good boy okay so that was hard because obviously when they have well, especially a cocker spaniel like this little one they have high prey drive so something's moving ah, ah, ah. no drop drop good boy no, mum's hand is not a chew toy. Off. Off. Hey, no. Sit. No. Good boy. Yes, you're doing so good today with that. You're not doing good today with going into biting moods. You don't normally do it that bad. Wait. Okay. No, not the chew, not the house <laughs> line. Um, Yes, yeah, so it ignites their prey drive and he stops himself from coming until I said okay, so that was really good. No, drop. Okay, why are you in a weird mood today? Are you doing this because I'm on camera? No, we don't play with that either, do we? Nope. Nope. Sit. Boom down. Off. Right. Good boy. So you can see that when I went right up on my feet, he stopped doing it. Ah. Did you get some bed? So you looked like he was getting a little bit bored of put tug there. Put your bum down, lie down. Good boy. So we have a, a jar of treats in the living room. And these are all treats because I didn't want it. We were using kibble. But I think it was just too boring. Like he was getting kibble all the time and not much else apart from the occasional treat. I have, no, get back in your bed. I have a handful of treats and now we'll just do some trick training. We're at the stage in the trick training still where he doesn't exactly know what he's doing. What do you, lie down. Good boy. Um, so it's just a little bit of like luring. So if he, okay, come here, sit. No, off. No. No. We'll wait until you stop that. Right? Yes. Good boy. And you can see his tail wagging. He loves this. Left. Yes. Probably because he's getting food. Right? Yes. Good boy. We haven't had any him doing it himself yet. Apart from last night. I said right and he went left. But that was so good, wasn't it? Should we try again? Left. Yes, good boy. But he's not at the level yet where I can I should be testing it. That last night was just I was bored, so I did it. Right? Yes. So I would only try it without my hand once I could see that when I'm saying it, he kind of does it already. So if you see at the minute, I say it and then he doesn't move until my hand moves. So if I go left. So do you see there it was just there was too much of a delay, so I know this there's not enough train in there to do it without my hand right yes good boy but it's still training isn't it yeah okay wait good boy that was so good you went off me when i told you
I also want to say quickly with the treats, I really recommend having the treats in your clothing. Left. Yes, because can you go on your bed, please? Bed. No, that's your crate. Why are you getting these mixed up today? That way. Um. I'm down. Good boy. We were, well, not we were. Sometimes we have, when we're doing his meals, because when we do his meals, we always do train him with it. We have his, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Bowl with, on our puffy there. And it doesn't work. Like, he will not be looking at us. When I say us, I mean me and my partner, Jack, whether whoever's doing the training he will be looking at the bowl and he'll just be waiting for you to get a treat out of the bowl so i really recommend having the treats on you where he can't see them i mean at the beginning there yeah, you saw he was trying to get in my pocket because he saw where they went but afterwards he looks at you and always look for eye contact if he's doing something really good and his eye contact reward that more you wait impatiently good boy have a treat oh <laughs> found stuff his nose okay good boy be a good boy. Right. Oh, we're doing it with no cheats. I get mixed up as well. No, don't pour at me. Ready? Left. Yes! That was so good! I hardly had the lure hand there. Well done. Right. Good boy. So here, I can see there is a little bit of progression going on because he's starting to move when I say it. Left. Oh, that was the wrong way. That way. Yes, good boy. So, even though... He's still waiting for my hand. It's when I move my hand, he tries to do something. So we'll see what he does. Left. Yes, good boy. So he did try and move. Obviously, it's not what we want. It's not the spin, but he's still trying something, which is really good. So I always reward it and give him loads of like verbal praise for it. Right. Yes, good boy. That's so good. Left. Oh, Nelly. You, wow. You turned your head. You did. One thing as well, just really quickly with the treats. Right? Left? Yes, good boy. Um, they aren't full treats, so please don't panic that I'm giving them like a ton of treats. We, when I, I buy the treats, I cut them up into four or six pieces so that there's not a lot of treats in each treat, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna add in a few so he doesn't get a different one, so he doesn't get bored. So can you come down? Can you see him on your side? Yes, good boy, clever boy. That was so good, that was so good. That's the last one that we learned. Stand. Yes, good boy. We learned standing on your side last and then he's been tripping up a little bit on your side. So that was brilliant, baby. Oh, thank you, good boy. So there he offered me something because he was waiting for me. So I rewarded it because we want to reward your creativity, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay, left. Yes, good boy. I think we're done. Yeah, I think that's it done. You were such a good boy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That was lovely. Did you give mommy a kiss back? Did you? No, we're not putting, no, we're not putting your palm on me. Yeah, good boy. Oh, you love me. Yeah. Do you like that? He loves face massages, don't you? Yeah, he loves it when I press hard on his cheeks. Good boy. Nice and calm. You are. You good boy. So now he will go back in his crate in with us because this is one of the things we're really struggling with. He's, we're not sure how it's happened, but he has developed a bit of separation anxiety. I really, I know a lot of people watching this are going to be thinking, oh, well, it's because you're home all the time. But we have crated him since the beginning and put him away since the beginning. So we're not really sure how it's happened so much. So he's staying in with us at the minute and we're only gonna put him in the kitchen for like an hour a day. So he does get used to it. Yeah, good boy. But he doesn't get like too like used to being in here, but we still wanna put him in there. So he works through the separation anxiety a bit. So he's in with us while we train. So that'll be it probably until his, oh good boy, until his lunch, which is about three o'clock. Hi. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you for the cuddles. No, we're not meant to be doing this. We're not meant to be doing this. <laughs> he has this thing. He's always done this since he was a puppy. He loves lying on his back for us. But when I've been watching videos, it says if they're quite bitey, don't reward this. Like, don't pet them when they're in the back position. But when we stop doing that, 
this is when the regression started and i saw a thing yesterday it was on tiktok granted but it was saying that <coughs> if they go on their back it means that they love you and they just want to be submissive but we're not sure i'm not sure but it's too cute to not reward so yeah i'm sure that was probably super super long but that'll be it until lunch so i will catch it up with you at three o'clock just very quickly it is tw two o'clock so it's foods in an hour but um jack's just took him out and we're just having a little cuddle i just wanted to be full just the closure of everything we're doing we're just having a little cuddle <laughs> he's um ugly oh do you want your bed i'm sorry i'll bring it out and um, we put his bed over there when his crate's next to the window so yeah we're just having a, 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 off that. a little bit of a cuddle once he's calmed down a little bit oh wow you said oh no we can calm it so he's a bit hyper so i'm gonna grab his lead and just get him to calm down good boy he's sitting in a sit good boy that's better nice and calm no calm down that's it you're gonna sit good boy calm down good boy that's better <laughs> okay i'll catch up with you at three i need to try and vlog this quickly because where we're going literally takes like two minutes to get to because it's just down the road we are now going out to do his lunch so it is three o'clock um we are we go and do his lunch outside so he gets a chance to run about this is kind of the main physical activity that he gets for the day so we're gonna go we will like the order that we do things is we go and we walk him on his lead to the what do you want, like what do, what do i call it it's a cricket field but it's a, like a park a field we walk him to the field and then from there he gets put on his long line and we do recall so he runs back and forth between us we try and do some weights and then recall him so he gets plenty of runabout we don't take a ball or anything because he doesn't know fetch yet so that's kind of it i'm going to try and film it but the walk into the field might be just a bit too difficult to maneuver because he's not great if like jack's not with us like if jack is standing somewhere else you'll just be focusing on jack so we might not be able to film that but i will try and film some of the recall so you can see him like running about so yeah that's his lunch he has would you say like two thirds of it when we do this yeah there's two thirds of his lunch with that and then he has the rest in the crate in the car so he doesn't have to wait to get back home but we're literally here now because obviously we can't travel we literally just go at the local field so this is it here it's a very big field and it's all enclosed apart from a little hole in the fence at the minute which is great but yeah around the field a little bit and just let him have a bit of a sniff because it's good for enrichment he's currently having a poo that's why i'm talking okay come here oh fucking hell. leave it good boy right sit in so uh, 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 wait he will run about and when we went just at different random intervals we will recall him back and then after we've done like a lap of the field we just do um wait and recall drop it Good boy. We've had some issues with this field because there's wood all over and he keeps picking up wood. Okay, here. Yes, good boy. Okay, free. Jackie's with you. Then we'll do like weight recall so he'll wait with me. Jack will go to the other. Good boy. He'll go to the other side of the field and then we'll recall him that way. So me and Jack have like split food. So yeah, this is, this is what it is. And when we sit, when we're standing, we sit, don't we? Good boy. Oh, go on. So yeah, this is, this is it.
never runs. I can't believe I got that on camera. <laughs> Run back. Come here. Oakley. Yeah. Yes. Good boy. And sit. Yes. Good boy. Good. Free. <laughs> Oakley. Here. Yes. Good boy. I'm here, babe. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. You can have so many for that. Can you? Hey. Oh, right. <laughs> no. I don't know if Jack said he ain't there yet because he went right back. Oakley, here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. You gonna sit? Yes, good boy. I've got another one for you. <laughs> Oakley, here. Yes. Good boy. Are right, you gonna sit? Good boy. Now wait. Wait. Yes, good boy. Okay. No. Come back in, Oakley, please. Good boy. Well done. Sit your bum down. Yes, good boy. Right, wait. <laughs> no, sir. No. So my camera ran out of battery when we were out, I'm not sure why, but yeah, we, we did some weight training, he did do it, he's got, he's gotten worse at it, it's so weird, like the more we've done it, the less he, the less good he is, but yeah, he's in his crib now, now, now that's why he's crying, and Jack's just left the room, so that's probably why. We did some weight training, and then we did more recalls, so just running back and forward as quickly as he can. And then we put him back on his lead and did more lead training, he didn't do great, we He's, he's okay until he gets out of the like the actual park bit and then he just pulls and pulls and pulls to get to the car it seems to be that when he knows he can get his food just as his food after so he was pulling to get to the car because when he gets to the car he knows he gets his rest of his meal and when he's in here he does it like the, when the the bowl is when the bowl's on the puffy he he won't pay attention to us because he's waiting for his food in his crate so we did like I did some loop back rounds and he was okay on the last one because I don't like ending on like a negative note so I always try and get it so he's done something good at the end of his training so we looped back round and he got to the car calmly so then he had the rest of his food in the car. We've literally just got back in and he's gone in his crate and he's crying. He just, he doesn't seem to know how to settle yet and it's not a, it's not a case of him not loving his crate because we have done so much crate training and all of the crate training that it says to do is like make sure you love his crate if they love the crate they'll go in on the of their own accord and he does when we have him out in the kitchen because when we're cooking sometimes we'll have the crate in there and just have the door open so he can go in and out and he'll go and sit in his crate and just wait in his crate so it's not that he doesn't like it but he just he, he just seems to cry when he's in there when he's by himself in the kitchen he cries non-stop so we think it's separation anxiety obviously not full-blown separation anxiety but just like some isolation anxiety and when he's in here sometimes he'll cry like this and then after about 10 minutes he'll settle down so that you can hear now he's starting to trail off and then he'll go to sleep but if we're up and about he'll like in the same room he'll cry and cry and cry like i was at the mirror doing my makeup and my skin care stuff and he was just crying and then this morning when I was working out if I was on the floor he was just crying so he just he doesn't seem to know how it'll settle himself very quickly yet and we're not really sure what to do we're, like I say with the separation anxiety stuff we are doing more about it now so he's like I say he's not going in the kitchen unless he has a distraction so we decided that when we do put him in the kitchen we're going to give him something like a kong with peanut butter in oh do you want to do that now do you want to go put some in and freeze it because everyone says to freeze it and then we can do it later um or a dentist stick or something to distract him and then we'll leave him in there for like half an hour and then bring him out and we'll try and slowly bring it up so we're doing that we're going to try and make sure that we're going in and out of wherever we are with him so he gets used to the fact that we come back like jack's just left the room there and i don't know it's so it's so weird it's so weird we don't know how it's developed we're going to be doing that so the next training thing will probably be that so the next time he's awakened crying 
we'll probably put him, we'll take him out, then play with him for a bit and do, I don't know, maybe some trick training or toy training, and then we'll probably put him in the kitchen. So that'll probably be about five, because it's four now. You stink, boy. He does smell. Smelly boy. And that'll be the training, so we'll give him the Kong and then try and get him to settle in the kitchen, and then leave him for a little bit and it's not like he doesn't like the kitchen either because he's in the kitchen all the time so yeah but my back's aching from him pulling on the lead so yeah but that's it now he's being quite quiet actually which is really good this is the thing i don't want to give the impression that he's a bad behaved dog he is so good at so much like he is he's brilliant at his impulse control he's really good with tricks like he knows so many tricks He's, it's just something seems a little bit wrong at the minute and we're trying to troubleshoot it and see what it is but hopefully it's just something we can figure out it's obviously us like I wouldn't dare say that it's his fault for any of the problems that he has it's definitely us it's just trying to figure out what we're doing that's making him feel anxious or pulling on the lead so it's just a little bit of troubleshooting that's all it is with behavioral issues with dogs so yeah I will catch up with you the next time we get him out and show you what we do then. So it is now half five and Jack's just took Oakley out. Jack's actually training and I'm doing some work. So Jack's just occupying him whilst I talk to you guys. So we're going to do, I think we'll do some fetch training now. Um, we are do. I'm going to do a proper like structured fetch training. Hang on, let me just say you're on his crate. Um, so I need to find a toy that I can clip a line. I thought you might come when that crinkled. The training that we're gonna do actually has um, like a structure to it for fetch. So I'm gonna tie, cause Oakley has this thing that when we play fetch, uh, the lighting, I'm so sorry it's going so blurry, it's because it's so dark. Oakley gets the toy, hello, and then takes it to his bed. So yeah, that's the camera. <laughs> We I've looked at some training. Oh, are you coming up, are you? And they said that you should throw the toy and have like a line on the toy and then you can bring the toy back. But I don't really know if we have anything that he can we can clip onto it. So Jack's gonna try some straight. I'm gonna throw it that way. So sit. Thank you. We're gonna use uh -huh. his duck, which was his Christmas. No, get off. Sit. This is what I mean about being on the same level hey. as him. I might bring the put well, Jack's using the puppy to train. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'll explain it and then I'm just gonna prop you guys up so you can see it, is I'm gonna play with the toy, like tug the toy, which you want me. It hasn't played with this in a while because it's broken. I'm gonna tug the toy, get him engaged with it, then throw it, and then see what he does, see if he brings it back. If he brings it back, we'll play again. If not, I'll tug the toy with the line, and then we'll play tug again, and then we'll keep going, and hopefully this will learn and fetch. So We'll prop you up there. Hopefully it doesn't keep going out of focus. Right, move all these wires, because otherwise you're gonna go after the wire, I think. And obviously he has his line on as well. Right, ready? Okay, get up, get up, get up. No, off my arm though, off my arm. Ready, oh. ready. off, drop, okay. Oh, Jack. He's on, he keeps putting his arm around me. Right, drop. Ready, go. Yes, good boy. You were going for your crate there. You were. You were. You were. Drop. No. Drop. No. We need to stop this jumping up. Drop. Go. Yes, good boy. And Boy. <laughs> uh, it comes back to mom. Yeah, it is. You got a drop? Good boy. Okay, so 
no, get back in your crate. Um, that was a bit weird. The string didn't work very well. It probably works better outside and stuff, but yeah. So now we, I'm gonna do some trick kind of, tr it's kind of trick, trick training. Oh, Jack's throwing toys at me. We're gonna do toy box training. So we have been working on Oakley putting his, his toys back in his toy box with a few different, how did you say it yesterday? Four, with what? It's on an angle, but you'll have to excuse. Get back in the crate, thank you. Um, so, where are the treats? Again, this is done with treats. I know it seems like we're using a lot of treats, but we have used this amount of treats for a while, and you've seen how skinny Oakley is. So this one is, is the aim is to get the toys that are on the floor, I'll probably move back a bit so you can see them, into the toy box. So we use ones that he already knows pretty much. So. He roughly knows frog and broccoli. He doesn't really know rope. And this isn't about him recognising the toys. Good boy. It's more about him just putting the toys in the toy basket. We do uh, recognise in toys training. But if you can hear heavy breathing, by the way, Jack's training in the background. So we do a recognise in toys training, but we haven't done that today yet. So we'll try it. All right, so. Okay. Out here. Okay, can you get broccoli? And well, that's your crate. Broccoli? That's your ball. We'll put, oh Nelly! Right, get your ball, get this, and put it in there. I know. Can you get ball? Get the ball. Look, get that, and then in there. Oh, Nelly, that was so good. Could you try again? So we have done it where, like, I have done it where I'll give him a, tri a treat for getting it near it, but at this point he knows that he gets a treat if you put it in the box. So we do wait for him to put it in the box. Can you get the ball? That's it, and then put it in there. You see the ball? You gotta put it in there. Right, you try it. Nelly, it is Nelly. Let's try broccoli instead, because you know broccoli. Get broccoli. Get broccoli. No, that's your ball, you silly Billy. Get the broccoli and put it in there. Yes, good boy. That was so good. Okay, now we will try with frog. Get frog. That's it. Put, bro get, put frog away. We'll say yes. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, get, get the rope. Are oh, you putting the ball away? Get the ball and put it away. No, that's frog. Get the ball. And that's it. And then put it in the box. I know. We normally have the box close to me. Let's get the ball. And then, no, that wasn't it. I know, baby. Can you get the ball? And then get, put it away. Yes! Good boy. That one kind of fell in, but I'll treat it anyway. We're not getting stuff out of the box. Can you get the rope? But I'll treat it anyway so he knows that it's the box kind of thing to put it in. So you need to get the rope. I know. Can you get the rope? I know. <laughs> Can you get the rope? You're looking at me so funny. That's it. You get that one. No, this one. That's it. And then you've got to put it in there though, babe. You've got to get that one. That's it. And then in there. Oh, that was so close. Come on, try again. Get that. And then put it in there. <laughs> that was against my arm, but we'll give it a yes. So we'll do that again. Okay, get them. Put them away. So at the minute, it's not in a command phase anywhere near. He's, oh, that, go on then. That was, I'll give you a treat for that because you try to do something without me telling you. Put that away. Get the ball. All right. Yes. So he doesn't know it well enough to add it to, add it to a command. So being like, I want him eventually for when I say put them away. Get that one. And to put them in the box, but he doesn't, he's not comfortable enough with it yet. Go on, get it. That's it. Yes, good boy. Can you get that one? So we'll add that once he's doing it more reliably. Go on, you, you know, you're struggling with this one, aren't you? So we're gonna try and put him in the kitchen now. And we're gonna put him in with the, he lies down. So we're gonna put him in with a frozen Kong so we can try and get him used to being in the kitchen by himself. So Jack's just moving the crate and he's just in his bed. He knows bed very well. Like he stays in bed really well. He doesn't stay down in bed, but he stays in his bed and he knows he's not allowed to come out unless we tell him. Can you lie down please? Go on, what did I say? That's it. Good boy, he, he always has his feet sticking out the front. You can wait. What do you do when you're at the kitchen door? Oakley, sit your bum down. Good boy. Now you wait there. 
okay? Maybe we should just play with him a little bit in here, just so he doesn't think that when, whenever he comes in the kitchen, he's going in the crate. What do you want him? Sorry, finish working out. I just meant for a few minutes. Okay. Just sit on the floor and stroke him kind of thing, calm him down. That's him in the kitchen now. We will probably leave him in there for about half an hour. I, to be honest, I don't even know whether he's gonna last half an hour. So we'll see how he does in there. Um, now I'm just gonna do some work. So I will catch up with you once he has... I thought he was crying. He seems okay. I'll catch up with you once he has finished his Kong. So it's been half an hour. I set a timer on my phone for 15 minutes and then just checked to see if he was crying because I was wearing my headphones and then it was cancelling. So I checked if he was crying, he wasn't crying and then I left it for another 15 minutes so he's had half an hour in there. I didn't want to push the look on the first day that we're trying this, like getting him used to the kitchen thing. So he's in now in here with me. He's currently, I gave him a treat because he didn't cry when I went out of the room to get some, I just got a quick snack. Uh, so I gave him a treat and he has it, but I think he's still looking for it. So he's still got his Kong in there. He's probably got some peanut butter still in there, but I just didn't want to leave it until he cried to bring him back in. So he's back in now and hopefully he just settles down and goes to sleep. It's now quarter seven. We probably won't have him out again until his tea, which is at eight. So I will catch up with you then. We're back. It's now a little bit, little bit past eight. Mr. Oakley's crying. Uh, we have him in the living room again, and now it's time for his tea. So I'm going to do some, <laughs> sir. I'm going to do some bed training for half of it. Probably not even half of it. For just a little bit of it, and then I'm going to do some. Uh, enrichment like I'm gonna do like a snuffle mat thing so all I'm gonna do for his um, bed training this is just to teach him to relax and to lie down and just like just be happy lying down so we have I've got his bed just next to me on the settee I'm gonna put him on his bed with his line on his house line on because his house line is always on and then every just every like what's, that's not what I was trying to say periodically I'm gonna give him his just a few treats. I've got them all in my pocket. <laughs> it's like way, proper way down. So periodically I'll just give him some treats and then after a while I'll stop that and we'll do some enrichment with a towel and I'll show you that after we've done it. So we'll get him out and do his tea now. <laughs> did that <laughs> he was very very good at it he's still in these beds just chilling so now we're gonna do the snuffle mat so I actually saw this from a TikTok so I will try and find her video and credit her to it but it's a basically it's an enrichment thing so it's a snuffle mat that you can just make at home so we get a towel Oakley knows this now as well so I'm gonna make <laughs> I'm worried that he might come over I don't think he will because he's in bed but he knows this towel now for the snuffle mat because I quite like the material of this because it's a little bit rough. But this is literally it. So spread loads of treats, well treats, is food, over the mat. I'll try and get some everywhere. And then there's loads of different ways you can do it but I'm literally, the one I like the best is literally just twisting it. And then the kibble gets like all hidden up in the folds of the towel so this is like to encourage them to sniff and it's really good for their just everything really brains concentration mental health everything so he will come across and just sniff it and then he's not the best at this he doesn't know how to use his nose properly yet he will 
think there's none left and then I'll pick it up and then like 10 fall out. So we'll see how he does today. Right. Here. Here. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on. Up. Jack. Have you seen them? Ugly. Here. Oh, you just too chill, are you? Good boy. <laughs> Have you figured out what you're doing now, have you? Okay, go on. So this is it, and they'll just do this. I normally do this just as much as I can until his food is done. I'll just probably do all of it. When we're doing Richmond, we do all of it. Normally, if we're doing like any other training and I don't do this, he'll have the rest of it in his crate. But we'll probably just do the, this because it's really good. It's tiring for them because they've got to use the brain to figure it out. So yeah, this is it. And this will be the rest of his tea. So, time lapse coming at you again. Whilst Oakley does his little bit enrichment. Oh, actually, flashing red on battery. So I'll leave. I'll leave this as a time lapse, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. So it's been a few minutes. He's still sniffing, but I'm going to try and get him to come off it with a command. And if not, I use his line. Okay, sit. No. So I use his line to get him to come off. He. Good boy. And we'll see how well he's done. Right, leave it. Oh, there's one there. Oh, wow. Well done, baby. You only left three. Okay, I'm going to do... No. Naughty. Go to your bed. Go on. No, that's your crate, babe. You know your bed. Good boy. So I'm going to do another one. Like a different type, again, from TikTok. So literally... Just rolling the towel up and then tying it into a knot. And then all of that just adds, there's so many creases in there that you can put it in. So it's just tucking it in. Oakley, here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here. Oakley, what are you being naughty for? Come on. Oakley, here. Come on. That's it, good boy. Sit. Yes, good boy. You can only have one, because that was a bit slow. Right, ready? Okay. And this is him on his second one. He finished his, we did, we ended up doing three, like, reps of, there you go, reps of the snuffle towel thing. So now, came in the kitchen, because Jack's already started cooking our tea, and I've come in to help. And we have Mr. Oakley in, just chilling really. We sometimes just let, sometimes just having free time when we're in the kitchen, just to let him chill out a bit. Hopefully he gets to know that he can just be chill around with. So yeah, he's in here while we cook some tea. So it is now time for Oakley to go to bed. By that, I mean that he's in the kitchen and we're leaving him and we won't come back in necessarily. We might, but it's not like a, like, He's going to bed essentially, so it's half nine. We're just having what are you now? And he's in his crate, he's literally just went in. Jack's just brought it in, and that will be it for the day. We will, he's, he's been out, he won't go out again until we go to bed. And normally that's like midnight ish, one ish, so that's the only thing that we do for the rest of the night, really. So that was his full training for today. I hope you guys found this useful. Don't cry, you don't normally cry on a night time. <laughs> um, I hope you found this useful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys don't like, I don't know, don't disagree with what we are doing. But if you do, please let me know in a nice way. Please don't be awful about it. I hope you guys agree that I'm giving him enough exercise and stuff because I had someone comment saying that I shouldn't have him in a flat and have him without a garden. But I think he gets plenty of exercise, so I hope you guys agree. But thank you so much for watching. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, we post loads of Oakley videos on this channel, so you'll see them plenty. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, chickpeas. Bye. <laughs>